Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku. Bringing you an Iceland volcanic update, Friday, March 12th, around 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Fagradosfall volcano update. Likelihood of volcanic eruption near Fagradosfall increases by the day. The earthquake swarm in the Reykjanes Peninsula concentrated in the area around Mount Fagradosfall, southwest of Kellil, continues with no signs of weakening. By early afternoon, the Met Office had recorded over 1,700 earthquakes since midnight alone, including many Mag 3 or higher, in a widely felt magnitude 5. This seismic activity has been identified as a result of continuing influx of magma into the newly forming dike sheet shaped magma reservoir at a shallow depth between Kellir and the southern extent of the Fagradersfall. The longer it continues, the higher the likelihood of it breaching the surface. Well, it is going to breach the surface because history always repeats itself. The tiltimeters are showing epic amounts of inflation in the Reykjanes Peninsula, as well as some other telltale signs and other volcanic complexes. The seismos are off the charts. But one thing they are doing is they are concentrating the seismic activity in particular regions, intensifying the effects as that in this place, a sheeted magma dike moving in this direction from Kellir down to the Fagradosval mountain to the south. And we're coming off of some seismic tremor that lasted for over 18 hours. Thousands of earthquakes here in this little package. Look at that. And it's weakened a bit. But the intensity is increasing over the last 24 hours. Higher intensity magnitude. And it's my supposition that this means the magma is moving towards the surface. And creating larger seismic events as it cracks through fresh rock. Here we can see a 4.3 just kicking off less than an hour ago. The latest updates from John Freeman at Iceland Geology, strong earthquakes west of Grindavik. Update on the magma dike movements. We covered this last night, I think. And let's just bring you the most recent update coming out today. An earthquake with magnitude of five, we just said that, at 3.7 kilometers depth took place close to Nathagi Valley, just south of the Fagradersfall Mountain. And this is the point at which they think it's going to come out of the ground, in our position as well. It seems to have, st the movement has stalled here and is now focused on this region after this 5.0 happened. Uh, some people were suggesting maybe there would be an oceanic eruption, but there is no evidence of that, based on historical documentation of the way that Fagradersfall erupts, which there is none. <laughs> but the other linear type liniments here of volcanic volcanoes, they call them, which are actually fissures, um, show similar dynamics, and that's why they're making the call there, and I would concur. Now, the earthquake activity is happening at the south end of the magma dike that has now stopped moving. It stopped moving south towards the sea, but continues to expand based on earthquake activity that's now happening. So a large magma pool is forming here at the southern portion of the dike which is probably where the first lava will break the surface. And according to this researcher, this is also the location where an eruption may happen without warning. So that's your latest update. Now, I'll, bring you, I'll give you some more data, and I'll show you some footage of what the eruption may look like based on historical eruptions. The GPS time series for Reykjanes is in, and it's showing uh, increased inflation over the last few hours and many places, almost in a vertical type of inflationary situation, a huge jump up there, huge jump up here, huge jump up here, jump up, jumping up towards vertical, up towards vertical. And this type of jump up here <laughs> is very telling if you look at the rest of the data set. Quick jump up in inflation, data set, jump up, jump up, jump up. So what we could see is uh, the final phase before the cracks in the surface occur, and the rift opens and the lava flows, like the 1973. So a similar effect might be happening at Fagradersfall, but we won't know until it erupts. Now, what we also do have is some footage of uh, an eruptive fissure at Ayafiyokl, which happened less than a decade ago.
Now, I guess the good news about these types of volcanic eruptions is that they're not particularly deadly initially. But in this case, they are destructive to the society and the country as a whole and the way things work, especially if a fissure cuts across major highways, cuts off uh, escape routes, and destroys infrastructure that made the most famous eruption of all time in Iceland. And the reason I say that is because there is no information on Fagradarsval volcano. It hasn't erupted in the last 10,000 years. Its last known eruption was in the Pleistocene, which could be any time prior to 12,000 years ago. And there is just no information on it. What we do know is the entire Reykjanes Peninsula itself is formed with lava from this volcano. And so if that's the case, then a, a fissure eruption from this volcano could literally put lava across the entire peninsula, cutting off everyone to the east. And if we just look at the eruptive history of historic eruptions that are significant in Iceland, they tend to group in a, uh, have groupings of multiple eruptions. Like back in 900, when you had Vantoldum, you had Asfartum, Vantiokol, Krafka volcano, Halamdurum lava fields, Ramdishflim lava fields. So that's like six events all within a decade. And then in the 1920s, multiple events, the Reykjanes Ridge and Kat Katla, both happening in the same time. And in the 30s and 40s here, Katla, Eliak volcano, and Vantiokol also at the same time. And in the thousands, two at the same time. Lava fields happening when Katla goes off. You see the picture we're putting up in the 1150s here? We had Kreisjevik and Hekla at the same time in the same region. So it's my supposition based on historical data that if Fagradishval goes off, then so will Kreisjevik or Hekla or Kafka or Katla. So, based on historical documentation, when one goes, others go at the same time. Here, Vantiyoko Glacier went, then the eruption of the Reykjanes Ridge. In 1210, we had Hekla and the Reykjanes Ridge. In 1220, we had Hekla and the Reykjanes Ridge. You picking it up? We just put it down. Hope you got something out of the video. When the Reykjanes Ridge goes, other volcanoes in Iceland go as well. Those are the facts. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. If you're in Iceland, don't be scared, be prepared. These are slow moving fissure eruptions that could last for decades. Be safe, we love you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, share this with like-minded people. And stay tuned for more updates as we enter the magnetic excursion and the grand solar minimum before your very lives. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. And we'll see you again soon.